right, another one bites the dust, meaning another driver bites the dust. That doesn't, I guess that's not really a nice thing to say. He's not biting the dust, he's retiring. And it's a good time to retire. He's in his mid 60s, he's decided it's a good time for him to, to hang up his keys and uh, sell everything off. It's a good time for that because the prices of stuff is so high. And that's kind of one thing I want to talk about is we've got this, it's a 2008 Transcraft Eagle. It's a combo. Um, it's a drop deck with a 37 foot drop deck and then uh, the uh, 11 foot uh, upper deck. It weighs about 11,000 pounds and it has three toolboxes, a sliding rear axle. So it's in pretty good shape. It's in pretty good shape, but we got it listed for 19,500. And I know there's some people that are just not getting used to these new prices, the, the, the changes in the way the system is working right now. But I wanted to give it a little anecdote. I don't even know what that means, but I've heard it used. Uh, I want to give you a little story. I have another guy in here at uh, our terminal. I was going to buy his 53 foot rent an hour. He takes pretty good care of it, and I was going to pay him $20,000. Already agreed. Man, I'd give it to him today and buy it. <sighs> He's buying a brand new one. Now, he went to them six weeks ago, said, I want to buy a brand new, brand new unit. Need it for, you know, you can uh, depreciate it out, so, you know, save some money on taxes and have a new, a new uh, trailer at the same time. He goes to them. They say it's about $50,000, 50-something thousand. He's like, okay, they're waiting for the final paperwork. I thought 50 something thousand. I thought, man, for a flatbed, that's, that's a little, that's a little much, but you know, I understand. Uh, anyways, so I'm still excited. I'm getting a, uh, my own. I'm getting his for 20. He comes back to me and says that last week they gave him the final invoice to go ahead and order it. It won't be here till next year. And it's now. $17,000 more in just a few weeks to get that final paperwork, $17,000 more for the, for the same trailer. They said aluminum prices just keep going up. They've got to raise the prices. And here's the real kicker. The price is not even guaranteed. It's not even guaranteed. It could go up and it could go down, but yeah, we know it's not going to go down. Um, at least that's my opinion. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. $17,000 more. So you have to wait a whole year and you don't even really know if you're going to get that price. It's hard to make decisions uh, on, on your business. But with this particular unit, 19500 you might be thinking, I could have got that for like 10000 two years ago. And maybe you could, I don't know. Um, and maybe you would have paid twelve, thirteen thousand. 13000 You're like, this, these prices are just getting a little bit crazy. What if the prices keep going up? See, everyone thinks that we're kind of in a bubble and it's all going to go down. And I'm like, you know, this, these people are printing tons of money. And the value of things goes, the value of the dollar goes down. What if you're not in a cycle where it just drops off? You've got to keep that in mind. If you're, if you're running a business, you've got to go, well, what if the price doesn't change? Sometimes it's better to get in, get you a unit like this, get making money because you got to make money get making money with the rates being the way they are pretty good you can make that back in no time so let's go ahead and take a look at what you what i think is a good deal at nineteen thousand five hundred dollars okay so it's like i said it's a 48 foot it's in pretty good condition look at those rails pretty good for being 12 years old and being all over the country now it does only have sliding winches on one side I know we all want them on one on both sides. It's got three toolboxes. This toolbox is rough. It still works great. This is a sliding rear axle. Depending on what state you're in, you gotta bring that axle up. Keep it within, I think it's like Wisconsin, like this one. You gotta be within 43 feet of kingpin i don't know uh, the back all the lights work no damage hasn't backed into anything and broken anything the only uh rail damage really is right like right there 
Let's see, get a new toolbox. It's about hmm, two months old. It's already got a big scratch in it just because a perhaps forklift driver or somebody scraped it. And then they get another toolbox. It says 11,000 pounds. He usually has on here um, probably over a thousand pounds of stuff. So the more you put on here, you want a lighter tractor so you can get get more weight. He puts a lot of stuff on here. I mean, he had this whole thing packed in uh, with stuff when I cleaned it out. So I cleaned it up and uh, made it look better. But this is what you get, 19,500. Maybe, maybe we'll see what it sells for. And I'll, and I'll update it later. But market's hot. So you got to work with what you got to work with right now. All right, well, the price is like, you know, like I said earlier, the price is getting crazy right now, but you need to be in business. You got to make money. And so you're going to wait a year and not even know if you're going to pay $17,000 more, $20,000 more. You know, we, you, <laughs> you don't know. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you think these, uh, this, this, this trailer's overpriced? Do you, do you think it's underpriced? I, I really don't know if I underpriced it, but uh, let me know what you think. I'd be really interested in, in, in getting opinions if this is just too much. I mean, yeah, you could go searching for, I know you could go like uh, on Facebook Marketplace and stuff and you can search for stuff, but I'm seeing people get thousands of inquiries for something that comes up for sale. And so you're really going to have to hunt like crazy to get something and you'd be lucky to get your hands on it if it's a if you listed something like this for 12,000 no nah, it'd be it'd be gone in minutes seconds and there'd be a thousand people wanting it so that's how you know it's priced a little bit too low at that point but i don't know let me know what you think is this going to keep going on or are we getting close to a peak moment do you think it's going to drop off and you think there's going to be a big bubble that blows up or you think things are just getting heated up because they're going to keep printing that money. They don't even have to print it anymore. They just digitize it. They just hit a button. Bang. All right. That's all I got.